I'm Scott. Happy Earth Day! It's Earth Day! Why is that important, Zosha? Well, this is the day to celebrate animals and nature. Absolutely, and that's what we do every day. We love nature and we certainly do what we can in our lives to protect the Earth, and we always encourage you to as well. But without further ado, Zosha, why don't you tell us what we're doing here? We're doing something a little different this time. So we're doing a different type of video format, which is basically like what we do in a week. Mm -hmm. So if you guys enjoy that, please tell us, and a video's coming out soon all about that. Exactly. So we're basically going to sum up. So in this video, we oh, yeah, this video. worked on the fresh water, we worked on the salt water, we worked on the frogs, we cleaned your snake tank, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, all that stuff. So watch, enjoy, leave us a comment, and we'll see you next time. See you guys next time. So right here, what fish do we have? These are some glow light tetras. Ooh, they just came. Yeah, and these guys should make a really nice contrast to the cardinal tetras we have. Now they've been floating for about 20 minutes, so they should be well tem temperature acclimated because the temperature was not that far off to begin with. And now what I'm doing is adding small amounts of tank water to the bag water to uh, make sure that they are acclimating to any difference in the hardness of the water. Because uh, that can sometimes trip up the fish a little yes. bit if, if there's a drastic difference in the hardness of the water. So, but good thing uh, these stores are all local to our area mm -hmm. and um, they all have similar water to us. Yep, that's exactly right. That's a really good point, Zosha. They're all using the city water from our city in our hometown. So the water sources are relatively stable and all of these fish have been in the stores for at least a couple weeks. Yeah. Um, so they've gone through a lot of the acclimation process already from where they were bred or brought in. Well, we already talked about the glow light tetras, right? Uh, these are some emerald? No, nope, these are more glow light tetras. More as well as a special little guy. Do you remember? Our new pleco! That's and right. So we got another bristlenose pleco, didn't we? And we're hoping that it's a male, so maybe we could have a cool breed with Penny, our female. Yeah, that would that'd be cool if that worked out. No guarantees, but that would be cool, right? Mm -hmm. And then over here, who are these little guys? Here, you can get these close and get a close up of these guys. Emeralds. Yep, now we have the main lights off right now Embers, just to keep them. Emeralds. Ember Embers. tetras. Embers. Ember tetras, yep. So right now we're gonna be releasing the fish. Time to release the hound. So we just use these bottles of supplements and stuff up here to hold the bags because you never want to get the tank water, or excuse me, the store water into your tank. There's three guys in here, so you take after they're acclimated and you've given them a little bit of your tank water in case there's any difference in general hardness. You take them and you pour them into a net. And put them into the tank. And then you take these little rascals and release the house. So which guys are these? Those are three of the glow light tetras. Ooh, I can't wait to see them with the lights on. And we've got on. some more over here. And actually there's glow light tetras all over the map here, actually. Okay. Pretty simple process, but make sure to acclimate your fish. Make sure. Always, always, always acclimate and take the time to do it right. And you're spending your money on it, so make sure you care for it. And there we go, big happy family. Yay, so we will so come we back fish. when the lights are on. We're gonna let these guys settle in, and then we'll put the lights on a little later, and we'll see how they're doing. Yeah, and the reef, look, reef looks great too. Okay, it is time to feed the frogs. So we've got three cultures here. This one I started on the 14th of March which these are, uh, what are they called? Melanogaster, Melagaster, Melaganaster fruit flies? I don't know, but they're flightless fruit flies. And we use a little cup here and some of these minerals. And we put some of the minerals in the cup. We put the fruit flies in the cup. And we shake the fruit flies into the vivarium and they go to town. But you dust them up, put them in there, Get some dust on them, see them hopping around. And then you open this up. The first thing they get is a rainstorm. Okay, so there's condensation on the glass, so it's kind of hard to see, but the flies are in there. And our little froggies should emerge here any minute and start lapping up your, the flies. Here's a frog. Yep, yep. Here's another one. Yeah. Bleep, bleep. 
So let's take a look. So what we got was the Aquatic Life RO unit. Um, this is not endorsed in any way. I just bought this off of Amazon. Uh, they call it the RO Buddy. It's a four stage, which means it has DI, which means, mm -hmm. um, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank here. Deionization. Wow. Wow. Brain fart. Um, Deionization, which means it's just an extra layer. So why don't you go ahead and open that box up? It's an extra layer of filtration. So it has a sediment pre-filter. Mm -hmm. It has a carbon filter. It has a RO membrane, which is the membrane that basically the water's pushed through and takes out most of those dissolved things. And then a deionization unit, a special resin that soaks up the last little bit of anything in there. And what comes out the other end is laboratory grade water. Just wow. water, this is nothing fancy. else in it. Exactly, so this is the unit, comes box like this, piece of cake, and then you essentially attach a few hoses and you attach it to your sink. Um, now you do need a threaded fitting. We have a deep sink uh, in our basement here that has a threaded spigot that makes it a little easier. Yep, those are some of the cartridges. And uh, then of course you have a wastewater line where the gookie water with all the yucks that you don't want go down the drain. Okay, so we've got the RO unit all hooked up and it is coming out of our deep sink here. Running through. First it goes through a carbon cartridge. Then it, oh sorry, it goes through a sediment car cartridge. Then it goes through a carbon cartridge. Then it goes through the RO membrane here. And then it runs through the deionization filter, and then you've got a certain amount of wastewater coming out down there, and then the supply line. And we've been testing it today, and we're doing about five gallons every two hours, which is actually pretty good for this little unit, because this is only a 50 gallon per day unit. So uh, I think we're doing good. So next step is to mix some salt. So we've got the rock and sand in, we've got it filled up with reverse osmosis purified water and yes. we've been mixing salt in it too, yes. haven't we? So let's go test it. Yeah, so go ahead and test it. We're using a refractometer here and this is just kind of a fancy way or I should say a really accurate way of being able to tell so it's how much salt is in. Yep, so you put some water on the lens there. Yep, that's it, that's all you need. And then you flip that little thing over. Oh my. That's okay, it makes a little splash. And then go over to the light and look in there and you tell me, it should be at right about 1.025, which I think is like 35 parts per million. Well, that's perfect, exactly on the dot. Is that where we are? Yes, it Rock is. Rock and roll, so you know, you know what that means. And it means we're ready to add bacteria and ammonia to the tank for the cycle. Great. We're that much closer to getting fish. I'm so excited. So we are super excited. Dual aquarium build coming along beautifully. Fresh water on the left, salt water on the right, dancing kid up front. And uh, we're gonna keep rolling. Yes, yeah, so let's put the ammonia in. Yep, it's, it's a special ammonia um, supplement that we bought that is actually an alternative to the old way we used to do this. So we, what we used to do is we used to put fish in the aquarium and their waste, and primarily the ammonia from their waste, would accumulate, yep, that's enough, that would accumulate, and it would, um, it's okay, it's okay, just get it in there. Oh, we got most of it. That's okay, we'll test it later. Just yes. put a little, little, just put the bottle up there and give it a little squirt. There's nothing living in there yet. Okay, yep, they were fine. Okay, so what we used to do is we used to put fish in there, and then their waste would accumulate, ammonia would accumulate, and then eventually bacteria would start to grow, the nitrifying bacteria, and break down the waste, and then those levels would come back down, and hopefully your fish would survive. That's cruel, messed up, and the old way of doing it, right? The new way is we put this ammonia supplement in the water, and that actually just brings the ammonia levels up pretty much right away, and then we have some nitrifying bacteria we'll put on in a little bit, and the bacteria go in there and eat the ammonia, and they start to colonize all the surfaces, and they're having a big bacteria party, just doing their thing. And the first group of bacteria take the ammonia and turn it into nitrite. 
And then the second group of bacteria take the nitrites and they go, nom, 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 and they eat that and turn it into nitrates. And eventually the ammonia and nitrite levels fall down and you keep adding ammonia and it just kind of goes away because the bacteria is eating it and you have nitrates accumulating. And that's when you know you're ready for Exactly, so we're using the Fritzyme 9 product uh, to kind of help boost the bacteria and then the sand in there is also live sand. So that is all sorts so, of like beneficial bacteria which is going to eventually, it's this pink. is a dormant form, there you go. but yeah, and that's going to cycle all over through the tank and it's going to start finding little nooks and crannies in the rock and in the sand and hopefully come out of dormancy and start to reproduce. And we're ready to put fish in our tank and corals. I'm so excited. Yes. So it looks like we're gonna have to do a little bit of a treatment here in the fresh water. So we have been using both lights and our do-it-yourself CO2, but it turns out the CO2 system had a leak and we weren't getting a lot of actual CO2 in the water. I was noticing the drop checker was just staying blue. It wasn't turning green like it's supposed to. And uh, did some uh, pH and hardness tests and it turns out that our CO2 was only about like 12 to 15 parts per million and we were shooting for more like 25 to 30. So with these bright lights, we have started to get some algae here. Let me turn the camera around. All right, so you can see we started getting a little BBA growing on the roots all right, not really the roots, but the root structures of the java ferns. A little bit here down on the base of the pogostigmon. So we are going to do a blackout treatment on this. So you can see I've already put an air stone in there to help oxygenate it, oxygenate the tank, and it's going to spend about four days in complete and total darkness. Um, I'll turn the light on briefly to be able to feed the fish. But beyond that, we are going to let this... Uh, chill out, relax, and uh, the plants will be fine, but that'll help us get a leg up on the algae. And I think I've got the CO2 system straightened out too. So um, stay tuned, let's, uh, let's see how it goes. And today we'll be cleaning Lucius's tank and it's well well needed. It is time to clean Snakey Boo Boo's cage. Well, let's well, get started. Cage, his enclosure, his environment, his crib. Well, let's get started. All right, so we got to clean Snakey Boo Boo's uh, uh, environment. Zosha, time to put Snakey Boo Boo back. Hey, Jenny, don't you dare. Jenny, get lost, oh Tiny. Now, this is tight. Hey, buddy. There he is, the snake of the hour. Ooh. Mr. Snakey Boo Boo. There you go. All right, and he is checking sure. out his new digs. He is Wait, back did, in I think, action. I think we just forgot 
forgot something. What did we forget? Water. We didn't forget it. We just haven't done it yet. Okay, well, I'm just going to go get some water. Go get some water for Snakey. Alicia's tank is all clean. Oh my gosh, I love it. Make sure to like and subscribe or else Alicia's will eat you. No, just kidding. He's too nice.